So we just covered the top five cornerbacks and on the same day we've also got the top five outside linebackers. Now it's a bit weird that they released two in one day and I don't really know what that's about, but let's take a look at the top five outside linebackers in Madden. Now I've had to change my list slightly because Khalil Mack is now counted as an outside linebacker. So it goes Von Miller, Khalil Mack, Levante David, Justin Houston and Jamie Collins. Now who I had at number five was actually Pernell McPhee, but he's been pushed out by Mack. Also another point, Jamie Collins may be counted as a middle linebacker, I don't even know. Who knows if he'll be in there, but outside linebacker's pretty good group actually, probably quite hard to get down to a good top 5, or an accurate top 5. So at number 1, and no surprise, apart from the 99 overall, that is a surprise. So we have Von Miller, 99 overall, 87 speed, 89 acceleration, 92 power moves, 98 finesse moves, 95 block shedding, but I would say 99 is a bit high for him, purely based on the fact there's a couple of guys very, very, very close to his ability. So if Khalil Mack isn't a 98 overall, Von Miller is overrated. At number two, Justin Houston, at least they're giving him his due respect despite a couple of injury problems as of late. So if Von Miller a 99, I'll take Justin Houston as a 97 as justification, even if Kilio Max is now going to be a bit lower, but 83 speed, 86 acceleration, 98 power moves, 91 finesse moves, and 93 block shedding. I mean, out of all the guys here, Justin Houston's the only guy to have had 22 sacks, half a sack short, of course, of the record, but I'll take him at number two. At number three is Khalil Mack, Dropping a bit lower, and I feel like he probably would actually rate higher if they had him at defensive end, but at outside linebacker, which he was all pro as well, the first ever player in NFL history to be voted all pro in two positions in the same season, so they're counting him here as an outside linebacker, 87 speed, 89 acceleration, 98 power moves, which is crazy, 88 finesse moves, and 93 block shedding. So a 94 overall isn't bad either, there's some high ratings here, especially when you consider that the running backs dropped out of the 90s by the end of the top five. So outside linebackers, very high ratings here. Then Pernell McPhee at number four. So I did have him originally on my list. Bumped him out for Khalil Mack. So that means either Levante David or Jamie Collins aren't going to be in. I feel like Levante David should be number five. The only non-pass rushing outside linebacker that would be in the list. And I feel like they've got to do it to give him his due respect. So Pernell McPhee, 92 overall, 76 speed, 92 strength, 97 power moves, 88 finesse moves, and 94 block shedding. So not bad at all there for McPhee. I won't count that one as being right as I did leave him out of the list. So I need the next one to be one of my two guys to be four or five. And it's Dante Hightower. <laughs> And I can't count that either. I knew, I kind of felt like it would be one of the Patriots guys, depending on who they categorized as the inside linebacker and as the outside linebacker, but Dante Hightower. So another guy that's not technically a 3-4 linebacker, although the Patriots use a lot of hybrid fronts. So he plays kind of both, but 83 speed, 88 acceleration, 88 power moves, 89 pursuit, and 87 play recognition. So you can see from the stats, a different kind of player for sure. And he's with a 90 overall. I do feel bad that they left Levante David out pretty much one of the best, if not the best, 4-3 outside linebacker in the league. Thomas Davis is right there with him. But Dante Hightower, not a bad substitution either. So I was three of five on that. Pernell McPhee I left out and I went for Hightower's teammate Jamie Collins who I would say is probably a better linebacker but they probably are counting him as an inside linebacker which I don't think he'd make the top five list on but all in all again compared to yesterday and the disaster of the defensive ends not a bad group here and at least we've also got a right outside linebacker here so it's not not that we all think it's just left outside linebackers. I think that's just the coincidence there yesterday. That all happened to be right ends. But who knows, I like this list actually. I'm happy Pennell McPhee's in there getting recognition. I'm not surprised that one of the Patriots linebackers is in there. Levante David I am upset about and I'm sure you can name a bunch of other outside linebackers that should have had a good shot of getting in here. Von Miller's 99. Not saying it's undeserved, but I do feel like, especially with the new changes, considering Aaron Rodgers is a 96 overall, there's no 99 overall offensive lineman. Up to this point, only Rob Gronkowski and JJ Watt were 99s. So I guess he does. It's a weird scale this year, but what can you say? 